In the classic 1941 RKO picture, Citizen Kane, one scene features a cost-effective rear projection of a dense jungle to enhance a party's lavish theme. What did keen-eyed moviegoers find strange about that? One more time. In the classic 1941 RKO picture, Citizen Kane, one scene features a cost-effective rear projection of a dense jungle to enhance a party's lavish theme. What did keen-eyed moviegoers find strange about that? So... I'm thinking they, it's a rear projection. The one thing in my brain could be the kind of orientation that, that, that perhaps, I don't know, there's something about a forest which makes sense in one direction, but not the other. Maybe, for example, that, I don't know, snow lands on one side and melts on the other, or that it tends to blow in one direction because of the wind, or that moss grows on one side, but not the other. Yeah, my, that was also my first thought is some kind of mirror symmetry that is not um, the same, you know, like uh, spirals on a shell go go one way or not the other or something like that. But um, yeah, not sure. When you say rear projection, this is where they just project something into the background to then capture in camera. Correct. So you can yeah. like, so like the, the old shots where someone's driving a car, it doesn't look quite right. So just projecting the car behind them. Yeah. Was this, ah, uh, okay, I'm going to use a fancy term here. Was this diegetic? <laughs> Was this uh, a rear projection in the movie's plot, like they are enhancing the party by putting a background of a jungle there for the characters, or is it for the audience of Citizen Kane, like this party is meant to be in a jungle? No, yeah, I mean, it's both one and the same almost. It was a jungle themed party in essence, but, you know, the props on stay on set probably weren't enough to make it look real. Right. Okay. So it's a jungle themed party and the, the, the party goers know that it's part of a rear projection. It's not like the audience for Citizen Kane is like, oh, this is actually being in, held in the jungle. Do, do the party goers think that they are in the jungle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the latter. They're not they're, The party goers don't know it's rear projection. The party goers think it's just part of their, of their world. Okay. Because part of me wants to hold a party and just start showing forest and see if it just kind of raises <laughs> the, the vibe, you know? Maybe that's the way you're meant to celebrate. Do ILM rent out that sort of fancy volume stage they use for modern rear yeah. projection just to move the cameras around, give people a bit of psychedelic <laughs> trip as the perspective changes? That actually, for parties nowadays, that's a good idea. Okay, Toby, you said they'd flipped it or something like that. Did they just put the film in upside down? Like it was flipped the other way and it looks fine because it's trees and jungle and then at some point some keen-eyed movie girl can go, that parrot is flying upside down. It, it's not having to do with the orientation but it is very much the type of thing that somebody would pick up on otherwise compared to what, in terms of what you just said. Could be that, could it be that they, you know how like people really know their trees. Now I, I um, met someone who does a radio show and he said that if you want to just like, if you don't have anything to, to do, you can just choose a natural item and say, uh, do you guys know any birds? And they just get call-ins about people who love their birds. <laughs> there are people that love their trees. Are they in a location, but all these trees are not from that location, so they've got either the wrong time of year or the wrong type of tree? It's the right kind of road. It's the wrong kind of object. How metaphorical was that? <laughs> <laughs> not, uh not too metaphorical, honestly, but and and I if if you're familiar at all with classic Hollywood, maybe think why would the 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 wording of the question mention the the, the studio? Was that RKO? Correct. That is RKO, and they did King Kong. Um, that's the only jungle themed picture I can. Was it a recycled background from some some other film? You, you're 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 very close. You're 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 all very close to both of those. Okay. So you're at the party. They think it's trees, but in one scene, you got King Kong just there doing, just waving in the background, <laughs> just 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 doing a cameo appearance. You know that same way they do in like Toy Story and all the Pixar films. I mean, not that not that extreme. Can you see a finger? Can you see a cheeky little bit of just, just <laughs> oh. a little, just a little bit? There's something in my head about how they filmed that for King Kong, and I can't remember. Didn't. Okay, I haven't seen the original King Kong. I've only seen the Peter Jackson remake. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I kind of regret seeing it. But <laughs> there is a whole sequence, a whole far, far, far too long sequence with giant insects in there. And I wonder if one of the ways they did that 
in the original, if that is in the original, was just to film like grass and actual regular sized insects. And maybe that's the film that they reused for Citizen Kane. You're you're also really kind of there, um, but it's um, it's not something that's uh, that tangible. I would say. Okay. You you really you really you basically got it. There's just one small other significance about it. And if thinking about that scene from the remake of of King Kong, let's say, think about in other films in the King Kong, uh, you know massive amount of pictures they made based on it what other kind of things may be there buildings could it be a shadow some the city scape i mean there's also the dinosaur fight sequence mm, mm. is there a dinosaur in the back of citizen kane to save money orson wells used footage from the son of kong from 1933 which had stop motion pterodactyls in the background and they did not notice it when they put it in the film <laughs> And then, of course, later on, when it came to home video, when home video became a, a much larger thing, it started to get noticed and they had to erase it from the home video releases in the future. Oh, oh they, re- they got rid of it. <laughs> Release the pterodactyl cut. Release the pterodactyl cut. You I can, say. You can find clips of it. If you go on YouTube, you can find clips of it. But this is like one of my favorite, you know, little tidbits from like film school that I learned that I always catch on to because it's like for some reason... All these videos that every goes back make out goes out there to make, you know, like oh top ten mistakes you never notice in films. Nobody ever mentions it. <laughs> they will now, my friend. They will now. <laughs>